This install video is showing you how to place a blind. We decided to pick this particular location because this is a good example of why you want to use a wireless blind because you have to go all the way to the top here. That requires over an eight foot ladder to get to the top there. What I normally will do when I open these up is this is very well packaged, as you can see. And See right here, it's got straps on everything. What I normally do is get rid of the box right away. So I'll go ahead and do that. So you'll see that this is the blind. And I did order the Valance 2 on it. That's why you'll see this piece here. This is the Valance. And these are all your installation parts. And then you'll see here, this is the remote that comes with it. And then a different installation video we'll go ahead and show you how to use the hub that you can order as a extra additional piece so we'll go ahead and get rid of this out of the way again you want to be kind of careful with this these aren't on very tight so you can just you just don't want to cut into material This is what it'll look like from the front. Next part of the video, we'll go ahead and open this up and show you a closer look at what comes inside. Next, we're going to go ahead and show you what's included in the installation kit. You will notice that before we get started, there is a piece, there's two pieces here, and because we already have the Valance purchased and it's already been installed for us, this is an extra piece as well as these small screws. So be careful when you open it because these will go everywhere because they're loose in the packaging. So just keep that in mind. This piece and these can be um, removed from the installation because this has already been done for us. The next piece you'll see here are our anchors and our screws, and that will be what goes into the wall. We also include a power adapter as well as a long cord, so it does reach um, a very long distance. And then these are the brackets, and this is how they mount. So we're going to show you a little bit closer, even even more as we go. But what how it works is there's a spring action, so this will be on your wall, just like this with the two screws and the anchors will be here on here. But if you see right here, you can see you can push this and it goes in. So I'm going to show you how that works on the actual Valance. So this is going to be the back side towards your wall and how it's going to work is you're going to push this in. This will be already on the wall and you see if I move it, it logs in place. What's nice about this is this is a rail system so once it's even on the wall and this is mounted to your wall, this piece can move back and forth. So you can see that this would slide. This was solid next to the wall. This piece would slide back and forth but you can see how it can be moved. So that way if you're not perfectly centered when you mount it, you still have a little bit of access to where you can move it left or right. There's one extra piece here that we'll show you now is this is an optional piece. This is going to be the remote if you want to have that. This one that we're showing here is a two channel and we'll show you more on the video as we show you how to get that set up. It does have a battery. The battery does have to be placed into the remote and you'll just pull that off and put it in. And then it does also have a mounting plate if you want to put this onto your wall. It just slides right in here. And that can be your storage for the remote. You're going to go ahead and take this power adapter. You're going to take the power cord. Go ahead and plug it in. You'll take this end and you'll plug it right here into this location right here. And we'll go ahead and we've got this already plugged into the wall, so we'll go ahead and do that. 
As I do that, you can see that the light is now on. We'll let that charge all the way until that red light is off. That we know it's got a full charge before we do our installation. You'll also see that this does have a transmitter and this can be wrapped around the back side here or down below, whatever you feels more comfortable for you on how your installation is going to go. You just want to make sure that this is not going to be getting into the roller at all. Just keep that out of the way. But that is needed so that the remote can uh, sense that signal. And we'll show you real quickly again, these are going to be your different channels. And then when you put that battery in, you'll hit this button and this button to choose which channel one or two. And then we'll, again, we'll show you there's a button you hold and we'll go through those processes a little bit later in the video. Again, we're going to go ahead and let this charge. And also there is a protective film here on the bottom. It's easier to get rid of the stickers if you want to as well with the attention and all the um, different messages that are here. I went ahead and removed these before I do my install because it's a lot easier versus it being loose at the end with the installation completely done, then you can pull them off. But it's up to you. But again, there is this protective film that you can see right here that I can peel off. What we're gonna do now is you're gonna grab your brackets. This is a longer blind, so I would probably recommend to use two or three of these. These do come with four of them. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna put them right here and right here. And if you look in the instructions, it tells you about how far you're gonna go in. But this is, depending on how your project's gonna be, it's gonna be different d distances, but you're not gonna have them right on the very end. Just don't do that. But what we're gonna do is put them about right here and right here. And you wanna do is make sure you grab yourself a pencil so you can mark where that's gonna go. You're gonna grab your screws and your anchors and I would either use a screwdriver or you can use an electric screwdriver what we're going to do here. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to go ahead and mark these and put these in. Again, there's going to only take two of the screws and the anchors if the anchors are only needed if you're not getting into a stud. So if you can, measure where you can to hit the stud, but for us we're going to put them right here and right here. So okay, we'll the last thing to do is now that we have the brackets secured to the wall, what we're going to do is bring up the blind and try to put it about exactly where we think where it's going to be. And again, you're going to tilt it down just a little bit to hit that back rail and you'll hear those click in. And then once you have it on and you know it's good and sturdy, then you can start to slide it just a little bit left to the right till you get to the right size. What we did again is we measured this multiple times before we made that special custom order. But we got it exactly on both sides to give us a little bit. And when you do order it, you always want to make sure that it's going past the frame just a little bit. And again, all the measurements and what they require for in inside or an outside mount again we're doing an outside mount versus the inside mount because this window doesn't open or close so that's why we have it uh, mounted here instead of the inside this is very lightweight And now you can see I have a gap about right here and I have a gap here. So I need just a little bit. So I'm going to slide it just slightly there. And then now we're, now we've already mounted it. Now all we're going to do is we're going to program everything. We're going to program it with our remote. And what we're going to now do is we're not only going to just program it, we're going to make sure that it can send the signal using again this wire that we talked about. And we're going to set the upper limit and lower limit and we'll explain that a little bit low, easier and also closer with more of a zoom in feature for you so you can see it a little bit easier. I will say right before I get done here because I don't want to come back up here, I would recommend there's also some double stick tape if you'd like to do that. You can see that I have my transmitter wire just hanging here. I mentioned before you can either move it back behind it so you don't see it or what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some double stick tape clear and I'm just gonna tape it here on the side. It won't interfere with the signal and then it'll look nice and clean. That way it's not just hanging down or falls down. So the next thing again we're gonna do is program this one and do the upper and lower setting. Now we got it all installed. We're gonna go ahead and show you how the remote works. Again, we've already got it programmed from upper and lower. And now we're gonna do is we're using a six channel remote for this particular installation. 
we're going to do is we're going to set that to number three because this is our number three blind. And if you just hit the bottom button here, we'll go all the way down to our lower limit we saw. And you can see that I'm totally going to disappear because, again, this is a full blackout blind. And it's very quick, as you can see. And we've got it set to where it's just going to barely touch the seal. You probably can't even see me as I'm talking. I'll go ahead and bring it back up. And while it's coming back up so that you can finally see where I'm at, I haven't moved at all. At any time, you can also just hit the pause button. It'll pause immediately. And again, we went ahead and did with that double stick tape we talked about. We put the receiver right there with no issues at all. And we are completely done with this install. So if you're ever looking for a blind or if you need help, always refer to the helpful instructions that do come with the installation, which has both front on how to install it on the uh, outer or inner installation and then on the back is how you use the remote but hopefully what we've gone through today on our video will help you out so you won't have to refer that too, too much so thanks again for watching